If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I have a dedicated listening room. That's where I am right now. Actually, kind of a media room, you could call it. You know, that's kind of a luxury these days with houses being smaller, apartments being smaller, and so on and so forth. It's hard to give up the space for something like this, but it was important to me, so I did it. I wish I had done it earlier. But then again, I probably wouldn't have gotten as much done uh, because I do spend a lot of time down here doing the things that I love to do, which is, you know, first and foremost, listening to music. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a luxury to have such a thing in a, in a house or an apartment, but I think it's worth it if you're, you know, truly passionate about doing this. Now, with that said, this isn't a very big room. It's 14 by 14. Uh, it's in the basement, so otherwise really wouldn't be used for very much. Uh, my house is not very big to begin with, but I thought it was important to give up this space for this. So when I set this up, I had a very specific idea for the speakers that I would, I would have here. And it changed over that time <laughs> to the ones I have now. But they're basically the same size as what I envisioned in the first place. And um, that's a little bit bigger. You want, in my opinion, uh, from my experience, you want to have the biggest speakers that you possibly can, um, within reason, of course. They have to fit in the room. Now, there's this idea that um, speakers have to match the room size, and that's, that's absolutely not true. You have a small room. It's really only limited by the space that you have in the room as far as the speakers go. Now, with that said, really big speakers in a small room will be wasted. When I first started setting up this room, acoustically treating it, I had a pair of bookshelf speakers. This was a way for me to set things up quickly and easily. I had a laptop down here to use for measurement, and those speakers that I was using were basically just there for measurement. But after I had the room set up, and uh, this was before I built my new speakers, I was using those bookshelf speakers to listen to for quite a long time, actually. And I was experimenting with uh, other things. And I made a few videos on this channel uh, showing that, particularly the open baffle stuff that I was experimenting with, the nisobaric for subwoofers and so on and so forth. But <clears throat> the thing that was remarkable about the uh, bookshelf speakers, uh, going from those to the ones that I have now is the, how do I put it? It's the size of the speaker. It's like the sound is coming from a bigger area. It's like this, the sound stage was there with the bookshelf speakers. The ELAC speakers that I have are, are really good for that, but it seemed like it was smaller. And it was, I mean, hearing it, it was smaller. When I put the, when I got the open baffle ones set up, I had one set up on one side and still one bookshelf over here. And I saw I could sit and I could listen to both at the same time, which you're not supposed to do, of course. But I could hear that there was, like there was more there. The imaging was better. Um, now a lot of people, okay, these are open baffle. A lot of people will say that, you know, open baffle are good for that anyway. They're more open and um, the sound is less boxy or constrained. And I can't disagree with that. But uh, the ELACs that I had down here were no slouch either. Like if you close your, your eyes and you listen, they sounded good. But the biggest difference that I found was the size of the presentation. I don't like to say sound stage because it was still there with the Elax, but it was with the Elax it was it was smaller. Probably the best comparison that I can make. When you're in a live situation, the sound is is it's not coming at you from a like a small point. It's coming at you from all over. And it's you're there, you're immersed in it. And that was the experience I was getting with these speakers and still am. And of course, some of that was the room treatment that I did that helps with the imaging and the clarity 
especially the clarity makes everything stand out more um, clearly you can pick things out much better when they're not muddied by um, listening to too much of the room so that's a subjective reason and i think it applies to all speakers whether they're boxed or open or you know panel or whatever size matters in my opinion when i compare it to the things i've had before size definitely matters and the technical reasons why you would want a bigger speaker and i'm talking specifically about the size of the drivers and in particular i'm talking about the size of say the low range drivers like the woofer and the subwoofer and whatnot is distortion you'll get lower distortion with a bigger driver and this is always the case a well-designed larger driver will have less distortion because it has less movement to do to produce the same amount of bass that you're going to get from a small driver that has to really pump to produce that same amount of bass when you have a big driver you're moving a lot of air, even when it's barely moving. So that is a big difference right there. With bigger drivers, you have sound coming at you from a bigger area. And when you compare that to smaller speakers, the smaller drivers, it's a lot easier to locate. It feels, like I said before, it feels more compact. I'm not going to say tight because tight could be uh, a good thing. And I'm not saying that, you know, bigger speakers present a loose sound stage. It's actually quite tight. It's just spacious. It just feels bigger. It feels like it's more there. You're more in a real um, listening situation that's closer to live, in my opinion. And of course, like I said, you can get very good sound from small speakers. And in fact, that's what most people have. And they're completely happy with it. Uh, I could have lived with the Elax down here. They're a small bookshelf speaker, low cost, but they sounded really good. And in this room, they sounded fantastic. So I could have lived with that. But when I got these ones finished and set up, man, there's quite a difference. And it's something that you can definitely hear.